Hello and welcome to our tutorial. Today we're going to talk about creating a travel website using WordPress. Now, whenever you want to design a site using WordPress, you will need to use a WordPress theme or a theme and a page builder. In this exercise, we're going for the second option. Once you understand the process, you can apply it to most of the themes and builders in WordPress. Now, before jumping into the actual design, you should know that you will need to buy your domain name, choose a hosting provider, and install WordPress. There are some useful links in the description of this video on these topics. In this exercise, I'm going to start from the default WordPress theme 2022, and I will also use the Kubio page builder. Page builders give you more freedom over design than themes. Now, let's take a look a bit at the WordPress dashboard. All the menu items are described in our ebook that you can find in the links in the description. I'll now explain the most important items. Here you can manage WordPress themes. You can search for a new theme, install it, activate it, or delete it. Here's where you can create and manage pages and posts. All the media you will use inside your site will go here. You can go ahead and upload all the files you need, or you can upload them the moment you are editing certain pages or posts. Here you can install and manage plugins. Plugins will provide some extra functionalities a theme can't provide. Let's say you want to place a form on your site. You will need a plugin for that. Maybe you want to back up your site or create an online store. There are plugins for that as well, and so on. Kubio is also a plugin. Let's go ahead and install it. We will use its free plan which is packed with awesome features. Next, you can start creating a site from scratch or from a ready-made template. I prefer the second option. It's way faster. A theme will affect the overall website design, while templates affect the layout of a single page. Templates are usually catered to a variety of niches, health, lifestyle, real estate, finance, and other. Kubio has a free travel template that I'm going to use. Now that the template is installed, you should know that it creates some default pages and posts. In order to edit a page with Kubio, you will need to use the Edit with Kubio option. Next, let me show you the most important panels of the editor. Here's the navigational panel. It allows you to move faster between pages and posts without the need to go back to the WordPress admin area. You can even create a new page from here, or duplicate, and delete pages. Here's the page editing panel. Here you can see the actual page sections from header to footer. You can move the sections, delete them, or add new ones. You can easily jump to a section and start to customize it. This is the block editing panel. It's here where all the customizations happen for headings, images, sections. Basically every block and section can be styled here. But for now, let's go back to the page editing panel using the back arrow. Inside the general settings, you can make changes to the global typography, colors, and spacing of the site. What does this mean? The global site settings allow you to streamline the design process and to create a cohesive website experience where all the elements share the same colors, font family, font sizes, and more. In here, you can also adjust the website menu. Let's now move on. In WordPress, every element from a page is a block. Here's the heading block. Its name shows up on top of the editing panel. Here's a paragraph. Here's a button. Now, blocks are placed inside columns, and columns are placed inside sections. You can use the breadcrumb view at the bottom of the page to better understand how things are placed one inside the other. There's a blog post article on this topic that we recommend you to read. Link in the description. Now, how do you actually add a block to a page? Here's method one. Go to the plus sign over here to open up the block inserter. The blocks with the blue-green color are Kubio blocks. We're only using them. Below them you can find the default WordPress blocks. They have black icons. Because we use Kubio, we won't be needing them anymore. Why is that? Because their customizing options are pretty scarce. Now, you can easily drag and drop a block to the website canvas in the middle of the interface. Changes will happen in real time.
Method 2. Hover over the area where you want to add a block until you discover a plus sign. Click on it to open a tiny block inserter. You can type the name of a block, then click on it in order to add it. If you click on the Browse All Options, you will be taken to the main block inserter. Method 3. Add a new blank section to the page and add blocks to it. For this we need to scroll to the bottom of the page. Let's add a blank section. Let's use a two columns layout. We will use the plus sign to add the heading and map blocks. Now, always remember to use only the blocks with blue-green icons. Whenever you click on a block, you will notice a toolbar on top of it. It has several options that allow you to move the block, duplicate it, or delete it. Let's move the map block a bit, using both the drag and drop in the arrows. Now, let's move the whole section. Next, let's delete the section and the blocks we've added to the page. Now, here's the block editing panel. You can open it whenever you click on any block. The panel has three layers, content, style, and advanced. It's here where the customizations happen. The options inside will vary from block to block, but a lot of them are common across blocks, like the ones inside the advanced option. Next, let's find out how you can work with text inside Kubio. Text can be edited real time, in line. You can just delete the existing text and replace it with your own. Whenever you want to change the text characteristics, as in font family, size, weight, color, or other, you can select the block, then go inside the editing panel to the advanced option. Next, go to typography and make the changes you want. Let's change the font size of this heading, because I want it to show up on two rows, instead of three. Next, let's change the font family. Now, let's change its color. We can also reset the changes using this button. Next, let's change the font weight. Ideally, you would set up all of these heading typography options at the global styling level. Next, how do you work with images or videos? Images and videos are blocks as well, and can be added as such onto the page. Let's add an image to a blank section with a single column. I'm going to select an image from the media library. Next, I can easily replace it from the block editing panel. In here I have lots of styling options, from alignment, size, and entrance animation to borders and shadows. Another important topic is the background. Sections, columns, and some advanced blocks such as tabs or accordions can have backgrounds. What's the main difference between a background and an image or video? On top of backgrounds you can place other elements buttons, images, text, or other. This column has a background image that you can change inside the advanced menu options. You can switch to solid background color or gradient. In the paid Kubio plans you can also go with video backgrounds. Another important feature in Kubio is the fact that you can add ready-made sections to a page. This will save you lots of time. These sections can cover a variety of purposes, team sections, about, features, testimonials, and more. We shall start with adding a new section at the bottom of the page, only this time we won't go with the blank section option. We are now taken to the block inserter. Yes, sections sit next to blocks. Let's click on a ready-made Kubio section. The moment you add a ready-made section or a block to a page, they will match the color scheme of the site. I just love this feature. Now, you can use the toolbar options to move the section. Sections are made of blocks, and each of these blocks can be edited separately inside the editor. Let me just delete these blocks from here. Next, you can easily visualize your design on mobile and tablet from here. All the Kubio pages are responsive by default, 
but you might need to make some tweaks here and there. The styling changes that you will apply here won't be visible on other devices. I'm thinking of shortening the space here. This means I need to adjust the padding of the section. The change we make will be reflected on desktop and tablet. Also, you can hide certain blocks on certain devices. Just select your block, then go inside the advanced option, inside the block editing panel. I'm going to hide this paragraph on mobile. Notice that the change does not apply to desktop as well. Now, let's save our changes. You can also preview your page from here. And that would be all for today. You can start importing your own visuals, add your own copy, and get ready to promote your travel website. See you next time!